Regions offshore that are not already reporting their position and weather by another means are encouraged to report it here. It is a directed net. It meets daily from noon to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Stations operating from a foreign country or from within its territorial waters are reminded they are governed by that country's regulations concerning third party traffic and radio operations. This is the uh, military MENPAC radio model PRC 2000. This is. Uh, this was designed by Philips, Philips MEL in the UK in uh, the early 80s. The radio was produced up to 1993, I think it was. This is actually uh, not this particular one, this is a very late model. But this kind of radio was actually used in the Falkland War, where it uh, performed quite well, according to uh, Jane's military communications. The radio uh, is a uh, very unusual design. It's uh, it's a direct conversion concept, similar as the uh, as the flex radios, flex radio 5000 or 6000, whatever number they're up now to. It basically has a uh, a quadrature mixer straight to baseband uh, or straight to the end frequency if you talk about transmit. It's called uh, so called an image reject mixer. And as a result, this radio does not have an IF. There is uh, only one mixing, uh, uh, which, which results in an exceptionally clean receiver. All the baseband processing is done in, uh, in hardware, since in 1982 DSPs were not up to that task yet. The flex radios use DSP pro uh, technology. This is all done in, uh, in uh, digital hardware. And it works exceptionally well. The radio does have a uh, built-in antenna tuner. Uh, you can connect it to a whip antenna here. The manual explains the length that you need for that. Uh, but right now we have it hooked up to a normal 50 ohm output. If you use the te antenna tuner, you need to take off the uh, you need to take off the uh, external antenna and basically put this uh, BNC jumper on there. But right now we use it to my uh, external ham antenna. We're currently listening to the uh, to the uh, handband 20 meter uh, frequencies. Propagation is uh, is pretty lousy today, but I'll uh, try to uh, to find you some stations. We can program any uh, step size you want, 100 hertz being the smallest. So, for instance, if I program uh, one kilohertz, I would have to do 10, which is 10 times 100, and then I can step down. That sounded like a station. You wonder why they always stop talking. There we are. Frequency W2VOB Bob in Long Island worked for CBS Television as did Harold. Sch the radio is capable of driving a speaker. I have a cheap uh, uh, a computer speaker hooked up. So it has a 4, a four ohm output, which is very unusual. It can drive a speaker. Not many military radios have that. Of course you can also use a uh, handset. That's what I hooked up to it as well. This is the handset that came with it. And it doesn't matter in which you uh, put it. I have the speaker here, I have the handset uh, here. As you already probably saw, it has a uh, backlit uh, LCD. It comes on briefly when you uh, turn it, uh, when you press a button. You can also turn that off. If you don't want that, uh, then you just go to keyboard. This is a handset a remote control that requires a special handset that I don't have, but you can also do remote control. Uh, this is the uh, store mode. You can program 10 channels. I actually have some channels programmed. Let's see if it works. Uh, recall one. Yeah. This is the channel one that I programmed. This is channel two. And if you want to go back to where you are, you just type the frequency one four three zero zero zero. Now we're back at the uh, at the military mobile, uh, sorry, the maritime mobile service net in the 20 meter band. Radio gives off, uh, like I said, 20 and 4 watts. We switched to the dummy load for that test. 
and uh, I have a bird meter hooked up for that purpose. As you can see it gives off 20 watt. Um, I can select f uh, 4 watts. Now we're at 4. It's a little bit more. Now we're back to 20. I have a monitor receiver. The modulation is quite well. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, testing. 1, 2, 3, testing. This radio actually has a built-in speech compressor, uh, followed by an RF clipper. So the voice processing is uh, excellent. Uh, it means that you have a very high average output power that makes use of the uh, available 20 watts very efficiently. And it also uh, conserves battery life. Very nice radio. It covers uh, it covers 1.6 to 30 megahertz. For instance, if I go to 1.6, 1.6000, uh, zero, zero, zero. enter. We have a uh, broadcast station. You can see it's dead on frequency. The broadcast station sounds uh, exactly the way it is. For instance, if I go to lower sideband, sounds exactly the same. Back to the upper sideband, sounds identical. We'll go back to uh, to 20 meters. That's where I have the antenna tuned right now. Radio is not very big. It uh, has a battery compartment in the back. It is completely made of die-cast uh, aluminum. It's very rugged. It's built exceptionally well on the inside. Like I said, this is, without kidding, probably the best military manpack radio I've ever seen. And believe me, I've, uh, I've owned many of them, including Collins. The PRC 2000. Excellent little radio. Thank you for watching this video.